about my uh, prostate cancer diagnosis and treatment. And this is just a quickie today. It's a Monday morning, <coughs> and I've just got back from the local GP surgery, <coughs> where I've had my first um, injection of testosterone suppressant drug. Um, I know if you get tablets um, for anything these days, there's always a little kind of ooh, little piece of paper inside telling you about you know what the drug is, what's it's, what it's used for, and uh, you know potential side effects and contraindications. Oh, you, if you're taking this, you mustn't take it with that. And usually, they're just a little piece of paper, you know, that kind of size. Here's the piece of paper that came with the drug they gave me today. All right. Both sides. All right. So there's that piece of paper. And there's this piece of paper, which is more like the normal size thing, right? With all sorts of information about the ghastly things that might happen to me. So that's fun. There's some reading for a Monday. Um, I'll just briefly tell you the procedure was that I went to GP surgery and a nurse, just one of their um, practice nurses, gave me the injection. The injection is given in the stomach. In my case, it can be given in the arm or in the backside and various other places, but their preferred spot is in the stomach, um, just next to your belly button. So I've got a sore tummy. Um, I found it strangely upsetting this morning. I came out and got home and, to be honest, I burst into tears. Um, quite why I can't say other than um, it felt like there's no turning back from here. I'm having these injections for the next two to three years and clearly they're going to, they're designed to have a dramatic effect on those things which as a man are related to your masculinity uh your testosterone which is obviously a fight or flight hormone <clears throat> which needs to be brought way down um and also you know probably gonna have an effect on the sex life let's be blunt about it um I'm kind of I've been joking with some friends actually. I'm kind of hoping that what it what it does is that um, it will uh, reduce the desire as much as it reduces one's ability to perform. Um, because if it only takes away the ability to perform without taking away the desire, that's that could be very frustrating indeed. I think that. Any man out there will understand that. So we wait to see. But the journey's begun, and I think it's because, it, you know, I, I, I just had this little moment of upset because it just struck me as, yeah, well, this journey's begun, and there's no turning back now. And it's still this peculiar thing where the disease itself, the prostate cancer itself, is not making me feel ill. Uh, but the medications and treatments they're going to be giving me certainly will. Which is just bizarre, isn't it? It's just bizarre. Normally, you feel ill, or oh, I feel terrible. You go to the doctors, the hospital, whatever. They make you feel better. Whereas I'm kind of, I feel fine, and then I'm going to be going through this stuff for the next year, whatever, with the hormone injections, it's two to three years, um, and then hopefully come out the other side just feeling like I did in the first place. It's a very strange thing headology stuff to deal with up here but anyway guys so that i just wanted to you know give you the update that i've had the first those hormone injections obviously i'm not feeling any side effects at the moment other than a bit of a sore bit next to me belly button where i had this big injection because it's quite a big one um and i'm waiting to see now what if any side effects i get and i'll report to you on that I still haven't heard anything about whether I'm going to have chemotherapy. So again, I haven't wait to tell you about that. Um, and then the radiotherapy wouldn't start anyway now until I've been on these injections for about four months, something like that. 
but because the injections are only going to be administered every three months, so four times a year, um, I'll only have had one more of these injections probably before they start the radiotherapy, kind of um, March, end of March, beginning of April, something like that. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope that you're all fine, and I hope that you're finding these informative. Um, yeah, some of these are going to be a bit squirmy, and yeah, uh, you might not want to hear that. You know, hey, I've been upset, um, but I have, and I doubt I'm the only guy going through this who's probably had similar feelings. Um, it's you know the the psychological aspects of this uh, illness and its treatment are at least as important and powerful as anything physical that's going on. So in order to inform you guys, I need to be completely honest. So that's what's happening. All right, folks, hope you have a good day, and I'll speak to you again as soon as there's anything to report. Bye.